Yo, it's Trevelli. I'm back. And today we're going to be talking about Colby Covington and who he should fight next. He's been calling out pretty much everybody in the world, honestly. And we're going to talk about a matchup that makes the most sense for him. So if you can, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get this channel out to as many people as possible. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you get my daily notifications for when I'm dropping videos, which is going to be Monday through Friday because I'm never slacking. Now, let's jump into the action. Uh, I'm living life like so Colby Covington, obviously his only two losses in the last five years, both come to Kamara Usman. And he's the only fighter, in my opinion, that's really given Kamara a good run for his money. When you look at the fact that he's the only fighter that Kamara's had to go the distance with twice, where Colby's actually won four rounds out of those 10 rounds, even with a broken jaw and losing both times, you still have to give the man his credit antics aside he's given Kamara a run for his money twice and that should garnish some respect considering that they've both beat the same guys on the way up including Tyron Woodley Rafael Dos Anjos and Damian Maya so it's not like they're not both beating the same guys it's just Colby is just a step behind Kamara and I also believe that Kamara is fighting you know a little bit obviously under his weight uh, because the guy walks around at a six percent body fat he's able to stack on all that muscle and just be a complete tank at the welterweight division so we're going to talk about what Colby Covington should do right now he's obviously called out Dustin Poirier on multiple levels calling him Dustin Dufus Soria calling his wife uh Jezebel and his, his prop or whatever uh you know what he was talking about but the guy is out of his mind calling all these people out right and then he's also called out uh Kamzat Shemaev saying you know I don't think this guy's for real he could also make a fight with Jorge Masvidal so we really have to talk about which one of these makes the most sense I think that if he wants to get a win the the fight that makes the most sense is uh Jorge Masvidal because he has a clear path to victory there. I think he could overpower him, wear him down with wrestling, ground and pound if he has to, if he is somehow losing in the striking game. But since he was able to stand toe-in-toe -toe with Kamara, take some of those same shots that he hit um, Jorge with, and even though Colby got dropped in that second fight, you could see he was still with it. He, he got right back uh, in the fight after about a minute of getting senselessly beaten. But Besides that, um, you have to think that he does have a clear path to victory versus Jorge Masvidal, but how much does that do for him in the welterweight division? It, it Needless to say, I don't think it's going to warrant him the trilogy fight with Kamara right away. So that is a decent fight if you're trying to build a resume, maybe a two-fight resume. Now, if you talk about the Kamzat Chamaya fight, I think that it's the riskier fight. I think that this is a guy that could beat Colby straight up. He's 10-0. He's, he's on that hype train. He's beaten some really good guys, and his style of fighting... As a free weight wrestler, I think he wouldn't be opposed to taking Colby into deeper waters. He's really strong as you've seen him dominate some of his opponents through sheer strength and, and his hype is real. So I think that's a riskier fight than Jorge, but it could garnish him a little bit more respect if he's able to end that hype. Maybe that does a little bit more for Colby. Uh, and then the final thing is the Dustin Poirier thing. If he wants to go down to 155 and fight Dustin, I don't know if he would do that. Um, I think he said multiple times in interviews that if anything, he would be going up to middleweight. Uh, so... It'd be tough. He said his natural weight that he would want to fight at is about 165. Um, that's Colby talking. So if they ever made that new division, he'd probably end up being the champion in that division because he's just a step behind Kamara. You'd like to see Colby get out of welterweight and be a champion if you're a fan of Colby because I just don't see him beating Kamara right now. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever be able to because he's just a step behind and when he takes that big shot in the second fight, when he takes the big shots in the first fight and his face is rendered useless after that, it's just tough to come back versus a champion like Kamara. So um, he did get the takedown. It wasn't official, but I think it was an official takedown versus Kamara. So I would say that he he's probably one of the best wrestlers in the welterweight division. Definitely one of the best pace strikers and volume in the welterweight division. He just needs to drop. So if he fights Dustin Poirier at 170, Dustin Poirier said that walking around 
around, he's a, around 180. So I don't think this is a big deal for Dustin to cut 10 pounds to go to welterweight and fight Colby here after losing to Oliveira. I do see this to be a possibility. And if he was to knock off Dustin Poirier at 170, I think that would also grant him a little bit more respect than beating a guy like Jorge Masvidal. So he's really got his options lined up, Colby, and he can pretty much do what he wants. I think the respect of basically taking Kamara into deep waters twice and making him earn those victories, not just like knocking him out like he did uh, halfway through the third with Gilbert Burns or with uh, Jorge Masvidal in the second. So as we come closer to the New Year's and obviously Colby wants to fight in the first quarter of 2022, they're going to have to put a fight together for him. And any of these fights, I think, would sell big time pay-per-views. So you got to let me know in the comments, who do you think that Colby Covington should fight next? You think it should be Dustin Poirier, Kamzat Shemaev, or Jorge Masvidal? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see y'all later. Peace. Uh, I'm living life like this. Maybe give a little glimpse. Maybe give a little glimpse.